oh, you do yeah. have to go home after this, uh, don't you? <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> but I'm sure she must be getting, you being a head chef and uh, someone reputed in the industry, I'm sure she gets some tips out of you as well in terms of what she does at home. Actually, she's giving me a tip. Really? <laughs> <Because> she's a <laughs> pretty good owner. To hear. <laughs> yeah, come to Sri Lankan cuisine and I'm um, far behind compared to her. And uh, she has better knowledge in the this cuisine, and especially my mom. She's a top cook, and I love to eat. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, which cuisine do you prefer? Do you like the Sri Lankan uh, style, or do you like modern Australian? It depends. Like, this is my career, and and I love to create things. And I, I love thing is if I get something fresh nice produce and I want to do justice it's called food integrity I can put that way and doing that and I'm because you can have a, in here you can have a everyday Sri Lankan cuisine but when you have something different say you get fish instead of having a curry you had you cook that in a different way maybe you comfy them and something like that and you taste that different that's what we do at restaurants home life is different when you go to a restaurant you need to experience that rex restaurant quality food and uh, that's a different but everybody like to eat at home and same time when you go out you need to tell something different that's what uh, we do at the hotels and uh, in terms of that question honestly Sunday I love to eat Sri Lankan I see because when I was there and I drive about uh, 40 minutes to get Sri Lankan food. I see. Also, there's a little uh, another question I have for you, which is uh, now in Sri Lanka, um, we have different kinds of restaurants. We've got Italian restaurants, we've got Chinese food, we've got um, Indian, and all sorts of different categories of uh, food. But um, even when it comes to Japanese, like, there is a certain kind of taste bud that we Sri Lankans like. Right, and I think that is also restricting um, restaurants from having it in the authentic uh, style which it's supposed to be in. Um, do you see that as a problem for you in your career here? No, it's 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 about educate educate them because <laughs> used to be people are thinking uh, now it's more Japanese restaurant in Sri Lanka and uh, Italian restaurant. It used to be back then, 10-15 uh, years ago, there's uh, hardly any Italian or Japanese restaurant in this country uh, apart from the five-star hotels. And now we have a restaurant in the streets. That's a good thing, good sign. And we have to develop that. We have to introduce that to our day-to-day -day people. And uh, imagine this, you're eating curry every day, rice and curry. And what, what are you going to do for change? There's, that's what uh, this restaurant come up. Then you, one day you feel like a rice and curry. Next day you want to eat some pizza. Then you dial, you get the pizza. And just like that, it's better to have a variety of food. It's always when uh, people say, when it's a pie, it's a bigger, the, and uh, you can have more slices. I mean, and... Uh, saying that and uh, it's better to come in a lot of different type of restaurants into this country that's good because then people have a chance to taste that and uh, and educate themselves and that's it that's good for their self because when they're traveling overseas and they know what they have to eat I see and in terms of the customers that you've experienced uh, here um, in terms of the customers you've experienced in Australia, uh, what is the difference like? Do you get a lot of people here complaining or do you get a lot of people there complaining or do people uh, appreciate it more here? I think uh, over here I think a lot of people appreciate Oh, because and I don't know why but some reason people here they appreciate whatever you cook and uh, and if his taste is right and they come and tell you, chefs, that's quite nice and good. And over there is a there's a genuine people there, and they appreciate and tell you, and uh, that's a good thing. But thing is, there's a competition is higher over there. Then they be they can have a choose which one to go and uh, and which restaurant to go, which one is the best, and all this. That's what I said. 
we have to have a more restaurant in here, have a competition, then end of the day customers can get the best one, then much better. Okay, uh, one last question. Um, if uh, someone wants to get into this uh, industry, if someone wants to think of uh, dedicating their life uh, to the art of culinary as a career, what advice can you give them? First thing, you need to have a passion. Like, like I can say, without a passion, you cannot be a good chef. This is not a nine to five job. This is not a office job. It's a full hands-on job. And if you have, if you can sacrifice, and if you have passion, then please come into this industry and. And then uh, there's a lot of avenues in this industry because in Sri Lanka now having a lot of because after the war now we open in a lot of uh, hotels and restaurants and there's a f in Colombo I think I heard about six new hotels to come of up. Stuff coming up yes lots and of there's opportunities and there and opportunities there for right per people and young young kids and uh, once they finish all level A levels get into this and first thing you need to have passion. If you have passion, just follow up. It's a good career to start from here and you can be go overseas yeah. and to travel. Travel, you can get a job anywhere in the world. If you, you can go around the world and get a job, this is the only industry that you can travel and get a job while you enjoy it. Also, Asanka, I've been told that you're coming up uh, to do later on in the future, you'll be doing a segment with us on Good Morning Sri Lanka itself. What are your views on that? Um, are you excited? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Um, it's a privilege uh, you guys come and ask me and uh, do that. And uh, I have done, I'm going to do quite a different. Uh, it's a restaurant quality, but then that uh, restaurant quality can experience at your home not to uh, complicated dishes dishes that easy to make at home yeah. well I, like i said before i am an expert of the two minute noodles <laughs> <laughs> i'm not much of a cook myself but yeah. i'll definitely make sure that i check the segment out because please do uh, i may not want to pursue this as a career but i definitely <laughs> would like to uh, learn how to cook <laughs> i'm sure i'll never come up to your uh, uh, you know Expertise, but then again, I'm sure I'll need need to, you know. Never know, I think. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? All right, on that note, we've been talking to uh, Chef Asanka on Good Morning Sri Lanka, and you'll be seeing a lot more of him lately in the future here on MTV Sports. Uh, I think it's time to wrap up the show now, Asanka. Thank you very much for joining us Thank you, and my being pleasure. with us, and uh, you've been a great host. Thank Sorry, I, I, beg your, I beg your pardon, you've been a great guest. Yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so that's it from here on Good Morning Sri Lanka. We'll see you again tomorrow at 7.15. Thank you.